Is that last one a salute emoji? Or he has like a used rubber on his face at the end? Is that what you're into? You're sick, you know that? <laughs> Mama said I could be in here when I grew up. So I decided to be a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> Hello friends, Trace Amounts of Science, there is some lovely new cringe rolling in on the r slash nice guys front, so I thought I'd turn my vision over that way, take a little look, and hopefully we will find some specimens. Well, basically it's an inevitability that we're going to find some specimens, so thanks for joining me today, and let's see what we've got. Hey, I think you're really cute, and I wanted to take the convo off Tinder. Oh boy, you gave him the phone number, did you? Oh boy. <laughs> so listen, um, I was wondering, can I have your number? Can I have your number? Hey, how's your summer been so far? Hey, how many times we have to have to DM you to get a response? I don't know. How many times are you, Finna? Let me count the ways. <laughs> it's like it don't even exist, lol. Screw you. I mean, you've probably lived your entire life like you're a ghost, but you want people to take notice now? Why? So you can touch their nethers? We all know what this is. We all know it's gonna end with you getting blocked, but sure, let's take the ride anyways. Hey, screw women! I, I hate them! <laughs> Mask came off pretty quick. No wonder 98% of shooters are men, since the stat of shootings have been tracked since the late 90s. I believe women drive men to insanity that lead to tragedies like this. And I'm not saying women are a direct cause, because they are, of course, other factors, but I think women play a part. Okay, cool, cool story, bro. <laughs> uh, how are we expecting me to feel about this? I feel nothing. Skeeved out. Disgusted. <laughs> I've been single my entire life. Just only had my first kiss six months ago. And still looking to learn how to please a woman. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, all this that you're doing, that's a really bad start. How long did it take you before you brought up the, the tragedies that were publicly committed with a firearm? However fast it is, that, that's way too fast. You gotta suss it out a little bit. Be like, is she a wing nut like me? No? Okay, well, <laughs> I guess I'll have to turn it down a notch. Like we do for YouTube. <laughs> I haven't had the opportunity to build a relationship with a girl. They don't give me a chance. Yeah, you wanna know why? All this. This is why. <laughs> I don't know if you've read my earlier messages, but as you can tell, I got no real game. But I'm a good listener, and I understand boundaries. <laughs> if you're looking for a relationship, I think we could be a good fit. But as of right now, it looks like you tried to find the hottest guy on Tinder that will let you smash. <laughs> so, that was my rant about whatever it it is. <laughs> It is in there twice. You tried to edit this a little bit, make it seem like it's worded a bit better. You failed on every single front. <laughs> I just ranted about it, so uh, have a good day, lol, and I'll talk to myself later. Ugh, you walking pity party. <laughs> also, I kind of want to see the new Barbie movie and don't really want to go by myself. And my friends won't go, so... If you want to go see that, hit my line. Yeah, that's a good one. Hit my line. If I say Finna and hit my line, she's definitely going to text me back. She's going to think I'm out here thugging, looking for some of that thuggin' love. <laughs> what? What the? I got that thuggin' oh. love. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this whole thing was just, just a travesty. I'm glad she never responded. It wasn't going to go well either way. He didn't completely spiral out of control, I guess. You know what I'm saying, he did. <laughs> you mentioned tragedies, you, you spiral it a little bit. But he desperately tried to wind it back. Uh, please, I'll take you to see the Barbie movie. <laughs> uh, well, that's, that's even weirder. No, thank you. Here's one from Facebook. And somebody's using that font that means that they truly hate themselves. Look, isn't it fancy and, like, handwritten? No, it's an eyesore. <laughs> Several women in this group have blocked me on Facebook for contacting them privately. You know, <laughs> the irony is that whenever I contact my fellow men from this group, I'm generally met with an enthusiastic response. <sighs> I wonder why that is. 
Yes, well, definitely wonder about it publicly on Facebook so we all can get the answer that truly everybody probably has except for this guy who's he, he probably has it too he's feigning ignorance <laughs> it's more dangerous for women to be strangers okay is that tracking i could use my status within this group to humiliate all of you <laughs> oh man you mad bro uh, you mad bro <laughs> uh yeah that'd be the Facebook group moderator, that's like the upper echelons of power, dude. You better be careful. <laughs> but I'm a gentleman, and the torment it would put you through does not comply with my ethics. <laughs> oh, good. He's an ethical maniac. We have nothing to fear, everyone. Surely he's going to do the right thing even when no one's looking, because he told me he was ethical that one time. <laughs> you skanks know who you are! <laughs> I love this post. Uh, uh, and if you're even capable of reading this, <laughs> here were my true intentions. Hopefully you'll come around to changing your mind about me. If you're not a complete idiot, that is. <laughs> Uh, it's so backhanded, like, I just don't know how to fully process it. <laughs> Say one thing and then threaten another thing immediately afterwards. It's like, where are we going, dude? What group is this? First off, yes, I'll admit I find some of you pretty attractive. <laughs> I'm a normal, healthy, biological male. Of course I'm attracted to women, and, and that should be seen as a compliment. Oh my god, this dude tried to creep into my DMs the other day. It's a good thing I derive every ounce of my self-respect from the opinion that other people have of me. <laughs> Specifically my physical appearance. It's not a compliment. It might be if you were a dude of any worth, but like, yeah. You're not exactly selling me with this whole thing. <laughs> uh, all of this does not automatically mean that my intentions were to sleep with you. Yeah, sort of kind of does. Well, what did you want, to be good buddies? <laughs> uh, we're just gonna be Facebook friends. I'm not buying it. I don't understand how the words, Hi, how are you, get translated into, Hi, do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> Uh, when we started having a conversation in one of the threads, did I proceed my comment with, Hi, sorry, I'm already attracted to someone else. Sure, maybe someday after getting to know each other a little bit more, an infatuation might develop and oh, we could start dating, but women these days seem to think that hetero men are incapable of having a platonic relationship with the other sex. I truly believe that men and women can have a hetero relationship, but there's always the, the chance that it might turn a little bit weird, you know what I mean? I think that's why the context of, like, what Facebook page this is, is so very important. Because if you share a hobby or something like that, I, I could see it happening a little bit easier. But if you're two just random-ass people on Facebook, like, <laughs> why the fuck do I want to get to know you? Give me a reason to care, and he can't. He just has that one thing on his resume. I'm, I'm a Facebook admin for this page. <laughs> oh, cool. And then where does the conversation go from there? Nowhere. <laughs> and he continues. To the girl who showed her husband my message and made him call the cops. Do you have any idea just how ironic that is? I was trying to explain to you how Atwood's The Handmaid's Tale had been severely misinterpreted by third-wave feminists, and then you convinced a man to apply authoritarian powers on me, <laughs> merely for the fact that I am a male. I guess there's a stitch of irony there, and you get to play the victim card, which... It's not as powerful as it used to be, but it, it ruled the meta of, like, the Beltway public sphere for a little while. Now the Overton window has shifted and we can talk about things from both sides a little more. But nobody gave this guy that update. He likes being a victim because it's easy, you see. It turns out that men can also be oppressed in society, as was Atwood's intended message of her novel. I mean, maybe that's the message that you got from a male perspective. It's probably the same message I'd get, honestly. But you can't then go around telling other people that their experiences are wrong. Like, oh, actually, the intended message was... Sometimes, yeah, you can come to a consensus, but... 
the consensus could also be wrong. <laughs> like the author, the filmmaker sat down and made this thing and it was interpreted completely in another way. I don't think most creatives would even bother correcting people. They'd just be like, cool, that's what you got out of it. It happens every time I make a YouTube video. To sit there and try and explain the message only cheapens the entire experience. Anyways, yes, based on that part of the message, I'm going to assume that it is a Handmaid's Tale uh, Facebook group. The Predator is using this show, uh, mostly made for women, to come in and do the pr thing that Predators do, and that is use it to his own advantage. Don't tell your husband. That's an irony, like in the show we both watch. You're using your authoritarian powers to stop me from harassing you. I just don't understand the mental gymnastics, but that's why I like really sitting down and pulling these long text posts apart. You get to crawl inside their brains for a little bit. And usually it's pretty fucking spooky. <laughs> Uh, to the girl who called me an incel for trying to discuss Nabokov's magnum opus Lolita, <laughs> I'm pronouncing it wrong on purpose, your lame feminist buzzwords have no bearing on my mental health. Do you really think I like it based solely around the hemophilia? Can we say that one? <laughs> I don't know. I would encourage you to read it, as the prose is magnificent. But judging by your less than impressive vocabulary, I doubt you would be able to understand it. <laughs> this really is what happens, dude. People get so wrapped up in their own heads. <laughs> like, what did he think was going to happen when he posted his scathing response? There's probably a few Facebook admin clout chasers that would be like, Yeah, you told him. But the vast majority of anybody with two brain cells to rub together would be like, you're overcompensating for something there, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest brain in the world couldn't save a stroke game that week. <laughs> okay. And to the girl who called me a loser and said I was trying to show off because I said you should read Tolstoy's epic War and Peace, I wasn't aware that reading something was suddenly a huge achievement. <laughs> Yeah, it just happens to be the longest novel ever written. No big deal. I consider reading something an achievement. I've read One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish for two weeks straight now. <laughs> One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, black fish, blue fish, old fish, new fish. That's an achievement. From there to here and here to there, funny things are everywhere. And that includes you, <laughs> writer of this, this diatribe. I don't know what the hell to call it. The fact that I wanted you to read it meant that I believed that you were the rare type of woman who could endure such a lengthy piece of literature. <laughs> I said lengthy. Now she's going to think I'm lengthy. <laughs> uh, the irony is that later in another thread, I saw you talking about how you read all the Harry Potter books before you turned 12. Yeah, not stalking you. I just happened to see it. What's wrong with that? Sometimes I happen to see things! <laughs> it's plainly obvious to see that you view the arts in the most superficial way. <laughs> There's no way I would ever date someone like that. <laughs> and to all the other girls who haven't responded or have been a bit timid in their replies, please don't take this post the wrong way. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, I didn't tag any of the women who wronged me on this post, and I will always respect your decision, no matter how misguided it may be. Jeez, man, maybe you just want to draft this post and throw it away, you know? Like, obviously, it's a community that you value on some level, and you are about to show your entire ass, like, <laughs> in 4K, live! Yep. You can't take that back. Then again, I'm not offering tips. Go ahead, let the predator out himself. <laughs> Come on, don't be timid, girls. Why are you so timid? Filing a restraining order. <laughs> that is such an ironic use of authoritarian power. <laughs> uh, wow. He can certainly read, but he can't read between the lines. <laughs> I think that's interesting. Read the fucking room. Anyway, good for you not tagging the girls. <laughs> As you can tell, my interests are mainly in the high arts, and I can guarantee you that, at the very least, you'll end up having a very compatible and knowledgeable friend. Yikes, dude. 
Big fucking yikes for me. <laughs> I, I hope that everybody saw this and was immediately like, this guy is out of his mind. Why do people post things like this? 93 laughing emojis. That's about like a millionth of what it actually deserves. 200 comments. Man, I would love to dig around in there, but I, I ain't going to Facebook. <laughs> nah, sir. I'll dig around weird Discord servers and Twitter threads with Facebook. Uh, all I'm saying is the file on me is probably bad enough already, okay? <laughs> probably really confuses the shit out of the algorithm. Be like, oh, he's a 30-something male searching up a Handmaid's Tale. And then that automatically puts you on, like, the Predator database. <laughs> is he a gay guy? No. Then sound the alarm! <laughs> there seems to have been a misunderstanding. <laughs> we got ourselves a mole. Yeah, fun couple posts so far. I mean, let's keep going. I really like the long ones. That's what she's proclaimed. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some weird DMs from Reddit itself. This OP says, so neither of us is who the other is looking for. Let's not do this. <laughs> yeah, before it even starts, could we just not? <laughs> I like that option. Uh, yeah, okay. You obviously don't want someone who could care. And I don't like rude people, so you're right. I tried to get to know you and show you myself. <laughs> Talking about sauce itself, you know? All of which you could care less about. So yeah, thanks for doing me a favor and proving you're not what I want either. See ya. And that could have been it, you know? OP took it on the chin, just like, yo, I can understand you being a little hurt. Goodbye. But of course, this fella, he, he, he couldn't let sleeping dogs lie, could he? <laughs> He's got to come back and really explain why OP is wrong here. <laughs> and I'm actually relieved that it didn't go anywhere due to you being standoffish and arrogant. I don't understand why just talking annoyed you so much. I think it's because I screwed up initially. Ooh, ooh, how did he screw up? <laughs> Can we see that part? <laughs> I'm not surprised. I made one mistake. I'm not what you're looking for because you also didn't take any of your time to get to know me, but I respect your choice because it's your choice. It's a shame because I look forward to talking to you. You are intelligent and not a player type. Rude, yes, but the intelligence is what I was hoping to find. Yeah, intelligent enough to see the banner of red flags waving over your head. <laughs> it's just like, oh, what's that? Goodbye. You probably bombarded her with messages faster than she cared to respond. Cause hey, wow, yeah, you're excited for some female attention! And then scared her away immediately. OP's not just got intelligence intelligence, she's also got social intelligence. Which this guy, yeah, he clearly lacks. <laughs> In the physical part, you have no idea what I could be. And again, that's your choice. I wish you all the best, and if you ever change your mind and would like to talk, I'm open to doing so. We could actually be passing each other, and we could be what the other desires. <laughs> yes, a huge possibility of that, I'm sure. <laughs> Guess we'll never know, due to the disdain you have for me somehow. <laughs> I wish you a good day. Bye. OP made the mistake of uh, uh, getting reeled back in by that second message. Wrong answer. Always the wrong answer. Just let him stew. Keep letting him stew. Post all the messages. Two hour angry rant in the Reddit DMs? Who's gonna read that? This guy. This guy right here. I'm gonna read that. <laughs> it was me all along! <laughs> uh, but OP says, I wanted to point out earlier that we were not what each other wanted. You kept messaging me. I don't deserve your rudeness, nor your outburst fairly succinct, and he says, whatever you say, if you think you're right about it, then you're right. I again tried to see you as a person, not an object. <laughs> you tried? <laughs> Would this be considered a success or not? I'm sorry, I just can't help it. She looks like an end table to me. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, but I can see that you prefer to be an object. My outburst, as you insinuate, is way off the mark as I wasn't rude. You chose to assume I wasn't what you desired by not talking to getting to know me. You're just a typical entitled arrogant person, and you did me a favor, I'm sure. I think you're doing each other a favor. Hey, look at that. Everybody's doing favors. Everybody's walking away happy, right? Right? They say right, stupid. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> right. <laughs> There we go. I definitely admire this OP's bluntness, and the dude, like, didn't break down into a swear fest or anything, but he's still trying to maintain that veneer of civility. Just in case you do change your mind, I I'm still open to talking. That's right. Leave the door to the lion's den wide open. Why wouldn't you? Maybe some prey will wander in. <laughs> this guy's not as gross as the, the previous few, but... I do like to see a nice guy desperately clutching onto something that was never there, you know? <laughs> uh, let's not do this. He could be like, okay, cool. Instead, he's like, you don't know what I could have been! <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't either. Could have been asked or not if we still had those. Instead, you decided to scroll Reddit all day and not even record it for YouTube. <laughs> uh. Here's another Facebook post. It seems to be the lowest common denominator. But it says, Nice guy is feeling angry. I'm sick and tired of getting friend zoned. <laughs> I went out on a great date with a beautiful woman last night. She, she was tall and had gorgeous blue eyes and blonde hair. And the biggest pair of bolt ons you ever seen in person. <laughs> Show me them. Cool, she sounds lovely. <laughs> I'm glad you're into that. I thought we hit it off well. well. That was until she texted me saying that we were only be friends. Bitch, what? You couldn't have told me that before I paid for your meal? I'm pissed off. This is why I'm done with American women. They want down bad boys in their prime, yet want to settle down with a nice guy once they hit the wall at 31? I thought it was 25. They're moving the wall back? <laughs> I'm so done. Fellas, get your passports. Nah, fuck no. We don't want you. Stay out of the Philippines. You're only going to make it worse. I'm serious. Do not pack that suitcase. We do not want you. <laughs> Anybody who's going to complain about having to pay for a meal with another person, that is some ultra low value type of shit. You don't go into the date with the expectation of like, we're gonna bang it out after this. It's a first date, a little get to know ya. She decided that you'd be a better friend than boyfriend. She could smell the bitch in ya. <laughs> Guess what? You're a bitch. <laughs> Uh, there's another comment. I, I can't believe she friendzoned such a catch. I mean, you even noticed her awesome rack, and she didn't even let you hit after dinner. The nerve of her! Sarcasm. Oh, it was sarcasm. You got me. I thought it was one of his boys trying to pump him up, but no. Doesn't look like that. <laughs> 2.3 thousand laughing emojis. <laughs> and that's really how discourse is going to be boiled down in the future. YouTube's going to remove comments completely. It'll be in the name of safety. For the children, you know. But from this point forward, you can only communicate with emoticons. And they're all positive. There's like no thumbs down or anything. <laughs> uh, this is the dystopian hellscape that we'll soon live in. If it does happen, you can find me uh, spilling my brains over on Twitter. At Dayton Does. Thanks so much for the plug. Where were we? Oh yeah, friend zone guy. I mean, I haven't paid for dinner on the first date since about my 20s. This cute little Asian girl wanted to go out to a Japanese restaurant. I took her. Spent that 40 bucks that basically I shouldn't have. <laughs> but you know, you gotta throw caution to the wind. We're gonna get to know each other. And yeah, I got to know her and she was like a super normie, dude. Sort of just like a blank slate who liked pop music and things that normies like. <laughs> Whereas, yeah, I'm clearly more of like an edgy, nerdy weirdo. 
We just didn't vibe. Like you, you want, we really want to chase her down. Be like, you, you owe me twenty dollars for your half. <laughs> Come on, man. Have some grace. Have a little bit of dignity, for God's sake. <laughs> Chasing people around on Facebook. I was wronged, everyone. Nobody cares. Shut up, stupid. Who said that? <laughs> Wasn't me. Uh, let's move on to the next post. Oh. What do women want in this generation? Someone please tell me. They always say like they want a genuine, loyal, honest guy. Well, there's not many of us left. Yes, make a note, ladies. It's inclusive. <laughs> I'm one of those things that I just said. <laughs> but they always go for the one who treats them like crap and moan about it. Thinking emoji. Truth is, us good ones. Apostrophe S, good ones. <laughs> Uh, that will give you everything, always finish last, just saying. Oh yeah, you're just saying, eh? Well, I'm not, but Vegeta over there is. <laughs> I see myself as an honest, genuine person with a big heart and a lot of love to give. Smiling too big emoji. Don't take life too serious. Always up for a laugh and banner. Not here to play games. Too old for it. T-O-2. <laughs> Maybe he just missed the last though. I don't know. Is that last one a salute emoji? Or he has like a used rubber on his face at the end? Is that what you were into? You're sick, you know that? <laughs> Mama said I could be in here when I grew up, so I decided to be a unicorn. <laughs> uh, it's amusing to me that you say you don't take life too serious, and then like everything before that is just you complaining about life. He's definitely not too old for games. He's stuck right in the middle of the games, and he doesn't even know. <laughs> he doesn't know he's playing. Thank God he's not the main character, though. We could scroll right past him. I still have yet to find the true main character. I thought it might be Chris Chan, but yeah, I, I don't know anymore. Here's someone from Reddit who wants to know, are nice guys oppressed? <laughs> like, like I told you earlier, it's so easy to be a victim, dude. Don't be a fucking victim. Wrestle back control of your own life, okay? Then you don't need to ask stupid ass questions like this anymore. <laughs> Unfortunately, the reality is that women don't find nice guys attractive enough. At best, the nice guy can expect to be friend-zoned. So don't believe a woman when she says, I prefer a guy who's secure and in touch with their feelings. Deep down, the masculine traits considered abhorrent in today's society are deeply desired by women looking for a mate. Yeah, just make yourself worse, embrace those horrific things, and eventually it'll get better, somehow. Trust me, I'm a random person on the internet. <laughs> you can trust my advice. I don't know, dude. Doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to me. This guy's in touch with feelings like horny and rage. Maybe hungry. <laughs> but part of being secure is also being like, yeah, sometimes I cry. Never in public, but my wife has seen it a handful of times. It's good. It forms a deeper connection. A bond that I've shared this with you now. But of course, he's getting all his advice from like the whatever podcast. <laughs> Fresh and fit. What is that? We watched it in another incel video recently. It all runs together. It's just a giant joke. Top G's and Tate bros and Boogie running the crypto scam. I used to think this timeline was pretty cool, but I don't know. It's been a rough year so far. We're halfway through it. What have you done with it, OP? I made a thread on Reddit that asked if nice guys are oppressed. <laughs> well, my faith in humanity's dropped even lower now. Please get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> Uh, I don't respect or honor no woman that has intimacy all her life and got pregnant outside of marriage. Now she demands a faithful, loyal man as her husband by giving him all her baggage and some other man's child. It's delusional for an experienced woman and single mother to think she can demand anything. Instead, she must be grateful for any chance she is given by a man. Oh boy, you really think you're God's gift, don't you? <laughs> How can I fix this? And indeed, is it fixable? I only respect and honor the man at that point if he accepts her and is a great man because that shows the character and value of the man only. <laughs> you can just come out and say you hate single mothers. It might be a spicy take, but I'm pretty sure that you could say it. 
As a stepfather myself, I'd like to step up and be like, Yeah, I, I do have character and value, but none of that shit's true. You fall in love with the mother, and then you see a piece of the mother and the child, and you fall in love with that too. You can't possibly hold the fact that somebody made a bad decision over them for the rest of their life, can you? I mean, I, I guess you could, but it's ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> we all make mistakes. Most of ours aren't as permanent as a child. But she had the conviction to stick with that. The decision to step up and be the one to provide. You, you gotta respect that at least a little bit, right? He's not gonna agree. But I think I am right. <laughs> All decisions in life have consequences and accountability. Yeah, we just talked about that. Some of your consequences weren't so permanent, so you want to shirk all accountability? Interesting choices you're making. Example! A man paying so much child support because he was extremely reckless, that's a consequence and accountability. Learn to find a virtuous wife. <laughs> I do love me some virtue. Like, there's bits and pieces of this post I can agree with, I guess. But one, like, who are you actually posting this for? Yourself? You think somebody's gonna see this and be like, oh my god, he seems nice. <laughs> it's, it's never gonna happen. Why are we even bothering to rant about this? I demand answers! No man is obligated to settle for less and accept leftovers. Well, it saddens me that you can quantify another human being in that way without getting to know them at all. But sure, yes, cut off that entire part of the population because they made a mistake one time. <laughs> uh, what do you want? Like, you can choose what's right for you, obviously, but let's try not to be so reductive, shall we? He can't help himself. He's got a sad, small little world. <laughs> Uh, it's the woman's job to have self-respect and, and keep herself pure. <laughs> so respect and honor the good man that chooses you. Restore the family. Something tells me that this dude would be like the worst dad in the world. <laughs> Just come home drunk and beat his kids. What do you mean the meatloaf's cold, backhand? I'm the good man that chose you. We're restoring the family, you dumb <laughs> Yeah, just a little glimpse into the future. And I think basically everybody can, uh, can sniff that out. I don't respect or honor no person that sees the world as black and white as you do. <laughs> Alright. Man, imagine if all men just decided to not date, how women would be affected by it. It would be astounding if all guys just decided to not text their crush or girl of interest. If all guys just decided to go to the gym and make the bread, how women would fall to their knees because of loneliness and lack of attention. Women always gaslighting and making up lies and excuses for these behaviors like we're simply supposed to accept how they are. When a man can simply get a hundred dollars and go do something y'all are holding back for some reason from the nice guy, but not from Chad, like if it was some Indiana Jones treasure. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, uh-huh. Where did you get the, the hundred dollars there, fella? Put it back into your mom's purse there, boy. <laughs> That's not for you. I think his real secret plan here is to be like, Hey guys, let's not date women anymore. And then he tries to go out and scoop up some ladies. But still, nobody wants him, even though he's literally the last guy on the planet. They're just like, ew. No, I'll <laughs> I'm gonna wait if that's okay. <laughs> it's not okay, you owe me! I can be a treasure from Indiana Jones too! <laughs> You just pick it up already! Uh, what's in the edge of too? Like the Ark of the Covenant? He was like, no, it's not. It's the wrong two! <laughs> uh, oh man. We have fun, don't we? It's like endless callback jokes. It's just beautiful. Uh, if I have one more girl add me and tell me I'm comparable to every other guy that has only cared for their body without getting to know me, I'm gonna lose my shit. Well, it sounds like the losing of said shite has already started, hasn't it? Uh, with everything in bones, you can't make your own statistics and expect people to be okay with you comparing them to a whole fucking population theory that all men are pigs. Yeah, let me rant about it on Snapchat. That'll really change some people's minds. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Dumb Ash, if you think that come up with some stats, some real numbers, then let me know if your theory is right, crying emoji. Other than that, don't compare me to your past lovers. I mean, isn't life just really a series of comparisons? Like, if you had no experience there, then you'd had no basis for comparison. But if you do, then it's kind of natural. You can't help but compare these things. There's zero evidence to make a statement like that. All men are pigs. Yeah, that's a lot to say, but then only have as many guys you've dated to line up that statements as your evidence. Do you realize how actually dumb that is? You're trying to say that because you feel like you're not going to fight a good guy, that's just the fact, crying emoji. I, I don't even know what the fuck he's trying to say. Can somebody translate this for me? <laughs> <laughs> Feelings are so dumb, bro. Like, where's the MF facts, huh? You're just yapping, crying emoji. I don't know of any person on Earth that spoke for a whole population out of random and been right, factually. Yeah, sounds like this guy's really into facts. He knows about all the facts and statistics. Just don't ask him to cite his sources. There's zero logic to saying all men are pigs. Absolutely zero. If you want to say I'm wrong, go ahead, but have some stats numbers ready to tell me what I ask. Otherwise, I'm not responding. <laughs> hey. Yes, the burden of proof is on you, even though we as a collective society have sort of accepted this is how it is. Now, you could be the outlier. I choose not to be a pig, personally. But in my anecdotal experience, yeah, most dudes are pigs, man. <laughs> <laughs> Waitress walks by, he's like, I would give me some of that. It's like, your wife is sitting in the other room. That's when I go have a little aside with my wife, and it's like, oh, something popped up, we gotta go. Never talk to him again. <laughs> <laughs> like, people think it's safe to tell me these things because I'm a dude. But yeah, I don't subscribe to the same philosophy that you do. Fundamentally, we're different people. I don't even have to explain why we stopped hanging out. Think about the last thing you said to me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess it wasn't always that way. Back in the Navy days, I talked some mad shit, but... <laughs> I don't know, you get older and you grow. At least, hopefully. But you trust me, I've met some octogenarian pigs out here. <laughs> uh, I most deaf should have to feel like I'm in some reverse fucked up court. Guilty until proven innocent, crying face. It's crazy to me that, as a man, I have to be guilty for all this other crap that other guys did to you before you're nice to me, crying emoji. Oh my god, shut up. Oh my god, who cares? Everybody has a bit of baggage, bro. I'm sure you're bringing a bit of your own, but we're not gonna talk about that here. Little did you know you're already unboxing everything for me. <laughs> uh... Wonderful. There's not a single woman on Earth that should have an excuse for not knowing what happened to nice guys. The truth is, once upon a time, most bad guys, the heartbreakers and cold men were the nice guys, but because they kept getting cheated on, hurt, broke up with because they had flaws, they became the bad guys. So, TBH, would y'all ask where he at? What, is that even a question? <laughs> uh, are you going to bring peace? Or are you going to cause drama, say mean things, and be entitled about what you say and do while dating him? I feel like my brain is falling out of my ears. What are you trying to say? We're speaking different languages right now. Because I'm going to be real. I'm about to give up being the nice guy. Oh yes, this is the start of his anime supervillain arc. Look out, ladies. The Rizzler's on the prowl. <laughs> he knows how to lay traps on Snapchat. Find your way into my DMs to prove me wrong about this Snapchat. And then she'll have to be so nice to me the whole time because she's trying to prove me wrong. If she's ever mean to me about the bullshit that I put her through, that'll totally prove that I was right. <laughs> Who cares? They're all just words! Right and wrong, it's all about perspective, you idiot! I think that's the real problem with the internet. Nobody has perspective anymore. It's all just boiled down to a meme template. Anyway, I feel like my, my brains really are coming out of my ears. <laughs> I don't want to philosophize anymore. So I'm gonna get out of here for the day, but uh, we got some patrons and, and YouTube members scrolling by you right now. And oh my goodness, look at all those, those beautiful, wonderful people giving us money every single month. So we can sit here, we can make the videos, we can do the things that we're supposed to do.
They're putting their money where their mouth is. They're joining the Jiri Army. Why don't you consider it as well? Did I say Jiri Army? Like the an army of people that jeers me? Don't jeer me, bros. I need support. <laughs> and life is hard enough out here for us nice guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, it, it's been a blast hanging out with you guys, as always. Absolutely love this community. If you can sign up and support, that's cool. If not, you watch the video. What else can I ask, really? Except that you remember that you are loved, you are worthy, you definitely, definitely deserve it, and I shall see you in the next one. So until then, bye-bye. Uh,